We got history. history. Got me feeling the nostalgia. When I miss my person. Every Sunday, we'll just lie on the carpet and talk about everything under the sun or nothing at all. You know, just lie here and be with each other. I miss his physical presence so much. But I feel in spirit that he's still with me. I haven't had the guts to to lie on the carpet since Shaw got sick leading up to his elevation to glory. I just didn't think that I could do this on my own. So today being the eighth day of month eight of one, which is 2021, it dawned on me that it's a new day. And I bless God for that. I bless God for I'll call it the supernatural strength because I don't know how I'm able to do this. It can only be God. I wanted to share a word with you. Um, uh, where is it now? Uh, Sure. Sorry, my phone is letting me down. Now it's it's loading. Okay, there we go. Mm, where are we? It's a, yeah, there we go. It's from John 14, verse 16 and 17. It says, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate. He is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. The world cannot receive him because it isn't looking for him and doesn't recognize him. But you know him because he lives with you now and later he will be in you. That's the book of John. Um, when I read this, I just thought about everything that happened and thought about how as Christians we love to say he who is in me is greater than he who is in the world but how much of that do we actually believe um, because when things don't go our way we fall apart and feel betrayed and I did I did um, I asked a lot of whys I asked a lot of why him, he was so young, still had so much to offer. I asked a lot about our plans, what happens to our plans now, so many questions. And then I was reminded that Connie, your plans are not always God's plans. Allow yourself to be still. Have faith that God still has your back. And I believe God still has my back. Allow yourself to be still so you can hear and feel what the Holy Spirit is saying. So it can be revealed to you what God's actual plan is for your life. Because what I thought his plan for my life was, wasn't to be. So I was sharing that word just to say, sometimes our plans are not the plan. Um, there's always a bigger plan. But even when things don't go our way, we need to remain faithful. We need to have faith. 
it's very easy to be fearful. I mean, it's very easy to run to bed, to be scared. Be fearful because tomorrow's not guaranteed. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But with faith, you trust that God has your back. And you trust that God will never leave you nor forsake you. And everything... <sighs> he knows our futures better than we could ever. Better than we ever will. Uh, so faith, no matter how small, small as a mustard seed, that's all he needs from us. And... Faith and fear cannot coexist. So I'm hanging on to every little faith that I have and working on growing that faith and um, drawing even closer to God so that he can reveal to me what his actual plan is for my life just thought I should share. Happy Sunday, family. Blessed Sunday. Happy Carpet Sunday. Thinking about what could have happened or what could have been. Finally, your face, I know it.